This is the plaintiff, Andrea Tunstall. She says her little adorable shih tzu named Miracle was savagely attacked and mauled by the defendant's unleashed dog. Her poor dog had to have her tail amputated. She was supposed to be a show dog, but can't now because she's disfigured. And the defendant must pay for her carelessness. She's suing for $937.89. This is the defendant, Barbara Conroy. She says someone left the door open in her house and her dog got loose. She feels terrible about what happened, tried to pay for the plaintiff's vet bills on a monthly basis, but she refused. Now, she's turning this small incident into a huge lawsuit and is trying to milk her for everything she can? Some people. She's accused of trimming a little tail. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the dog. The plaintiff says the defendant's dog attacked her shih tzu, and it was so bad part of the dog's tail had to be amputated. But the defendant says the plaintiff's making a bigger deal than it is. It's the case of the dog that got a little tail. Thank you, Douglas. You're okay. Ms. Tunstall, you are suing Ms. Conroy for $937.89 in vet bills and training classes that you say are necessary thanks to her negligence in allowing the dog to get loose and bite your dog. What happened? I was taking Miracle and her sister Ormi out for a walk, as I always do when I visit in Staten Island. And Who were you visiting? My sister. Okay. And the dog came out from nowhere. Wait, you were taking your sister out no, for a walk? I was taking her sister. Oh, the dog's. <laughs> <laughs> she you were visiting your sister, and then you took your Miracle dog and, and the dog's sister, I, which puppy. I guess belongs to your sister? Yeah, my sister has the mother, the sister, and the brother. Gotcha. Okay. So I took her and her sister out to walk. As they were trotting along, the pit bull came out. Were your dogs on a leash? Yes, they're always leashed and harnessed. Okay. And what happened? I pulled them up by the harness and threw them up on top of a car and the pit bull kept trying to aggress to the dogs, not knowing that her tail was bit at the time. Because before you were able to get her up. She, the, the pit, pit bull, bull had gotten the tail already. So when I pulled her up, I pulled her tail out of the mouth of the pit bull. Ugh. So she ha ended up having two inches of her tail amputated. Uh, and what happened? Spades. I, I, I'm oh, sorry, let me ask Exactly what she said. I don't deny that my dog. How do you have a pit bull that gets out? Why is it always a pit bull that gets out? Why can't it be a chihuahua that gets out? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, seriously, people's... it's always the, the, the big, biggest, baddest But she's dog. not the biggest, baddest Oh, no, dog. I'm sure you're no, going to show me pictures of her that. licking up all your children. I know that they're wonderful, no, the, the I, hand that feeds them. I, but they're, they're, that's the breed. The breed is, that's why you get them. You no. don't get them because you wanted a Fifi. No. Anybody who gets a pit bull, they're lovely. It's not the pit bull. It's not no. the pit bull. It's the people who own the pit exactly. bull. Exactly. Right. So why did the dog get out? Okay, but I didn't get my pit bull because she's an aggressive breed. Because pit bulls are not aggressive breeds. They actually are very affectionate. But regardless, no, of I that, know that they're affectionate with the that, owners. Yes, I know my, that the people they clamp down on is everybody else. So that's why you try extra hard yes, to absolutely. not let them out of your absolutely. house. Absolutely. Who let your pit bull go out of your house and attack two little cats that bark? Look at the size of that thing. So are pit bulls more aggressive than the average dog? Absolutely, I agree. Why do you say? Well, first of all, they have jaws that lock down. And secondly, I think that the owners that pick these type of dogs are using them for more than it's so interesting. You are so in the minority from all the people we've talked to here. What do you say? Are pit bulls more aggressive? Yes, they are. You're afraid to say. <laughs> uh, wow. I, we've never... Who, who thinks they're not? Okay. I really just think that's like saying humans are all inherently evil just because it's bigger doesn't mean it's meaner and it's going to attack you. Okay, okay, going inside the courtroom. My stepson was irresponsible. He did not make sure the door closed behind him. He did not close the gates behind him as he walked out Does the gates. Does he live there? At the time he was living there. So he knows that there's a, a pit bull in Absolutely. there. Absolutely. So what happened? He's just He was irresponsible. He? he didn't close anything How behind him. Uh, he is More or less. 19. Yeah. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't deny so my responsibility. So why aren't you paying the vet bill? I went to her sister's house the next day with... Did you know her sister? ...an agreement. Uh, they live on my block, but no, I'm not friendly with them. Okay, let me see the agreement. Two what agreements. does it basically say? 
It basically says that I'm responsible for paying your vet bill. Uh, I, at the time, I was able to pay her $100 a month. And the only stipulation I put in there was I asked her because my stepson would not. I went to him and I said to him, listen, you're partially responsible for Partially? Well, you know, I am the owner of the dog, so. Yeah, no, you're legally responsible. Yeah. He's morally entirely exactly. responsible. Exactly. So I said, time for know, him to get a job and pay. Right, you need to help us out with paying this bill. He refused to speak to me about it. It caused a big brouhaha in my house. So the next day, I went to her with what, this agreement. And he's not living there anymore? No. Is that because of this? Probably. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be on a long-term basis anyway, but oh, okay. this probably made a move that much faster. Well, good for you. Uh, uh, so then what? <laughs> anyway, um, I, so I went to her with the agreement. I put a little stipulation in there just asking her, here's his name and his phone number. Maybe if you contact him and speak with him, he'll work something out with you. Whatever he pays, we'll take it off the bill. If he doesn't pay... I will pay the entire bill. At first, she was willing to sign the agreement. Then her sister came out and took it out of her hand and read it and started questioning it. Why do we have to do this? Why do we have to do that? Why do we have to sign this paper? I Let me said, see the paper. Oh, I have the paper. <laughs> what was wrong with this? The one thing that I had to, that I had to call her stepson that she said was involved. I mean, it, you know, what it says is you agree to contact him in an effort to collect payment of the debt. What's like... Like, I mean, you call him, he says, I'm not paying you, you hang up. It's a... And she did call him. I did oh, call him, he you? said, no. I, no. Oh. I called him in front of my sister. He said he had no, he had nothing to do with the dog. The dog was taken from him, from him when he was younger, so it's not his dog. Okay. So, because In she... any event, why haven't you, when you know you owe the money, even if she wouldn't sign this, and you know that it's your dog that attacked that dog, why haven't you paid the $100 a month anyway? I haven't seen her since. What do you mean you haven't seen her? You know where her sister lives. They come every month. Just to a second. Night. I don't I'm need her to see you. I asked her for her phone number so that we could keep in contact. She didn't give it to me that day. Is that true? The day that Is I that gave true? Her I don't remember her asking. Okay, me well then, me. if you know where her sister lives, why don't you go over there with, uh, stop, listen okay, to me. I'm sorry. Go over there with a money order and say to her, here's my $100 for this month. How much have you paid? I, ha I haven't paid her anything because I haven't ha been able to get in contact with her. You know how to get in contact. All you got to do is go over there and say, I now, it's been four months, I haven't heard from you. I understand she's suing me. Here's the $400 for part of it. You know, but, but no, you didn't. You know, you, you, you just, so you got $400 and you spend it. No, I have money at home. I didn't bring it with no, me because I, I didn't think I, I had to pay it today. Saying, but have yes, you been I saving? Yes, I have Good. been putting the money aside right. to pay her. What you're suing for the vet bill as let me see the vet bill. And at the time, the day that it happened, she showed me a vet bill for seven hundred and change. Yeah, let's oh, find out. These are her became. medical records that I've done. Bandage. You know, I want the vet bills for this event. I don't for want five inches that I have to do. These are this is all for this event. For it's this event. All the bandage changes that I had to go do. Yeah, there's always follow up. Okay. Exactly. Plus now she's declared um, post-traumatic stress syndrome. What? So post-traumatic stress syndrome by my doctor, by her doctor. I have it here. She has post-traumatic stress syndrome and anxiety and fear tendencies. I had to buy the hormone teddy bear to calm her when she's in. It's what kind of teddy bear? It has hormones in it. It has like lavender scents in it. Uh-huh. And it stays with her to keep her calm. I want that. It works. <laughs> I tried it for the first time. I spray time. that stuff on my pillow. I'm like, please yeah. let me sleep tonight. I tried it for the first time last night and it put her to sleep. Is that sleep. a pamper on your dog? Yes, yeah, she has a pamper on because now she, she was fully trained by three months. She was doing the pee pee mat and going outside. Now, if you pick her up in fear, she urinates. Every time you pick her up, she pees? If you pick her up, she does what's called a submissive pee now. If she comes... Every single time you pick her up? Almost. Almost every time. Take her, take her diaper off, put her on the ground, and let me see her pee. Is that a skirt you got on her? She has a Are you sure that's not what's stressing her out? <laughs> no, my baby dresses. I think they... I don't know that she is going to pee. I'm about to see. No, she's not going to do it now yeah. because she's been in my arms with the pharmones. Okay. But nine out of ten times, she does do it. She now wets in my house. Mm -hmm. She won't go out in the backyard. She gets very tense. So you're suing for $119 for what? Therapy? For the training classes that my doctor told me I have to put her in. I have to put her in a beginner's training class for socialization. Yeah, I let took me them see. yesterday. Oh, he just prescribed it yesterday? Uh-uh. I called him earlier, and I told him that she's been like this for 
She's been like this for a while, but yesterday was the only day I could get an appointment for him to actually see her physically. Listen, I think it might be a really good idea for you to take your dog to additional training lessons at PetSmart. I just don't know if I can legally require her to pay it. Um, I just, um, look at her. Look how cute she is licking up that, that uh, the bear. The pheromones or whatever is in that. Yeah. Can I see that? I gotta see that. Here, give it to my bailiff. Well, I don't wanna take it away from her. Was that? Yeah, go ahead, I'll you take it, it away. <laughs> I don't want her biting me. She won't bite. Okay. You're, you're doing all the right things, okay? And you're not doing all the right things. Can you I should say have been one thing? Paying. Just yeah. in defense, as she said, why haven't I paid her yet? <laughs> yeah. It was only two weeks later that I got the letter in the so mail what? that she was suing you me. You know, just so because somebody sues you doesn't me, mean you I don't figured, pay them. It okay. means, ah, oh, yeah, then I am that, wrong. That, that was pay. my ignorance. I figured since right. we were going to court, yeah. I had to wait until we went to court. Okay. That's the only reason why I didn't pay anything. I'm going to order you to pay okay. all of the vet bills. I'm entering a judgment against you in the amount of the $818.89, plus, of course, your court costs and in being able to get here. I hope the dog continues to be adorable. Um, I, I just, I can't imagine there's much dignity in that pamper and that, <laughs> but well, She's I, only yeah. nine months old. Oh yeah, I know she's only nine months old, but she's still a dog, right? Look at the bow and look at, the, oh, she's so cute. Look at how she loves you. Look at that. Oh, now, now I'm gonna throw up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> to each his own. Good luck, folks. Thank you. <laughs> Well, the defense paying every every cent, not for the training, but for all the vet bills. What's your reaction? She deserves to be paid for the vet bills. Never said I didn't want to. I asked her to look over the agreement when she was ready to sign it. Come, you know, you, come see me. We'll both sign You got the dog them. under control because oh, absolutely. It, absolutely. What's to prevent this from happening again? My son, my stepson, no longer lives with us, so there's no one to ever okay. leave the gate open. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right, come on out here, and so. Um, is the diaper back on? No, she's in my hand. Is that good? Yeah, she's fine. Okay. Uh, what do you? What do you? I don't need to ask you anything. You, you, you did all the talking in there. What else do you want to add here? Well, I just want people to know that if you have pit bulls, you need to be a good pet parent with that dog because he's a bully dog. And I just, I, I feel like she got what she was supposed to get. Who, who so. is your closest friend in the whole world? Who's my closest yeah. friend? My sister and my husband. Ahead of the dog. Well, God first. <laughs> okay. Harvey? If the dog were incredibly freaked out, maybe then the cost of resocialization would have gone to the plaintiff.